Hi everyone, Zach Gotot here with Paragon Ag. As harvest is beginning to slow down, it seems the grain markets are wanting to follow suit. With lack of news or political headlines circulating, the grains want to grind in a sideways range, at least for the near term. We are getting into a time frame where the folks will turn to South American weather and if any issues develop during the growing season. The corn market had a friendly tone after last week's WASI report. We saw both world and U.S. ending stocks lowered. We didn't see a change in harvested acres number of 81.8 million acres, but we did see expected yield lowered to 167. From a cash standpoint, basis is historically strong. If you need to lay off any risk or need cash flow, this is the best harvest corn price that we have seen in five years, and wouldn't be a bad idea to take advantage. Report for soybeans was by and large neutral. We did not see any yield or acres adjusted this month. We are still waiting for a trade deal, even if it's a partial deal, to be inked out. The recent cold snap gave wheat a surprise. Talks began to circulate about possible winter kill on the newly emerged crop. Of course, we still have a ways to go before we determine if this had any impact on it, but we will take any positivity we can get in the wheat market. As we kick the mud off the tires and park the combines in the shed, we are faced with another task, decisions. When should I sell my grain or how long should I hold on to it? Many folks want to get out to that January report where the USDA will take its first stab at determining how big of a crop we actually had. If your grain is in a commercial elevator, there are ways where we can sell the physical grain and still be able to participate in a rally, eliminating your downside risk and storage costs. If you're looking to sell your grain but aren't exactly sure how to go about it, give us a call here at Paragon Ag Advisors at 888-452-8751. I'm Zach Otot. Have a great day.